welcome back to Door King Tech Tips. Today we will be going over creating an account in the Access Plus software. Let's get started. We will need to come up with a name for our system. This should be something that identifies its location. Once you have that, we can enter it on the next available blank line here. By hitting the tab key we can now enter the contact address. This is typically the address of the system. By hitting the tab key again, we can enter the contact's phone. This is typically the customer's phone number if you need to get in touch with them. These two fields are not required, so we will leave them blank for now. You should now have a folder on the left with your account name. To continue with the setup, click on the plus sign next to your account. Then click on the plus sign next to setup, and finally click on system information. Here in system information, there is a lot to go through. However, today we will only be going over the basics to get you connected to your system. The first and most important part of information that we need is the master code. This is the four digit code the installer programmed at the time of installation. Go ahead and enter that code here so the software will be able to update your system. Next the software will need to know how we will be connecting to the system. We have many options to select from. These options are located under Preferred Connect Method. The first two methods are subscription based. The DKS Cellular requires an add-on box 1800-081 to be connected to the system for voice and data communication. The IM Server Modem requires that the system has an analog phone line connected to the panel. The next method on the list is Modem. This refers to an old dial-up modem that would need to be connected to your computer. The system outside will need to have an analog phone line for this method to work. The last connection method is network. Choose this method to take full advantage of all the features the system has to offer. With this method, the system is connected to your network through an RJ45 Ethernet cable. Depending on your connection method selected, you will either have to enter the phone number connected to the system or the IP address so that we can send and receive data at the system. With your software now configured to talk to your system, all that's left now is to test by transferring data. Here I will try sending data to my unit through a network connection. Congratulations! With a successful send of data, your software is now ready for you to start adding names and codes. And we'll see you next time for more Dorking Tech Tips.